Welcome to the CT News Report. I'm Tommy Lopez. A handful of VCU students joined student government members Wednesday at the state capitol. The event is called Rams Day on the Hill. It gives students a chance to lobby directly to senators, and the focus this time around was on tuition prices. I spoke with SGA Vice President Ryan Garnowski about his experience. Our goal was, since we're so close, to let the legislature know a little bit about our specific and unique location as well as needs. Uh, and the main thing was primarily for students just to be able to get the opportunity to speak to their delegates and senators who might not have otherwise ever have done before. Um, one of the main focuses we have was cost of tuition uh, and assistance that might be given to kind of compensate for that influx in tuition. He told me he'd like to see more students there in the future, but he thought VCU's message came across. You know, I think most students, especially those who've never participated in a lobby event like this before, would be very surprised at how accommodating a lot of the delegates and their staff can be. Um, and I was pleasantly surprised myself, and granted, I have experience with this, at how accommodating they were. They were all pretty much open doors for the most part, um, pretty informal, which was nice. Uh, they let us in on a lot of good information about tuition. Uh, and overall, I thought it was a pretty good experience for those who attended. We all try to avoid parking meters when we can, but free and open spaces near campus during the week can be hard to come by. New meters on Main Street and Cary Street near VCU's Temple Building are adding to that frustration. VCU Parking and Transportation wouldn't comment to us on the issue, so we turn to the city. Steve Bergen is with the Richmond Department of Public Works. He told us it's about VCU encouraging the purchase of parking passes and keeping the streets clear. He said, quote, The idea behind paid parking is to help move people into long-term parking facilities and to keep people from driving short lengths to do business around campus. It takes a couple more minutes out of your day, and finding a spot is challenging enough. Um, there's a lot of competition for those spaces in particular. I don't know if paying, though, will make students less inclined to park there. VCU put on its first ever homecoming parade Saturday morning. The event started near Kroger and moved east on Broad Street towards campus. There are more than 20 floats. The homecoming committee worked with VCU police to make it all happen. It also celebrated the 50th anniversary of the Ram as a mascot. Thanks for watching this edition of the CT News Report. You can check out our print edition in newsstands on campus.